Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you a recipe that I've just discovered and I'm so excited to share this recipe because it's one of the healthiest recipes I actually have. So it's banana oat muffins and what I really like about this recipe is that it adds so much variety in terms of breakfast because I love eating oats for breakfast but after a while it does get a bit boring and repetitive so this is a nice way to still have a healthy breakfast but just for it to be a bit different and to enjoy some Thing baked. I really do like muffins for breakfast but usually the ones that you get at the shops just aren't healthy. They have a lot of added sugar, oil, just a whole lot of bad stuff. So what I really like about this recipe is that there's no added or refined sugar. So the sweetener that I'm going to be using is honey and then I'm going to be using oats as the flour for this. So it's not really a refined flour like white flour is. And then on top of that there's also no butter or oil. So it really is one of the healthiest recipes that I have and what I really like about it is that the muffins aren't dry. You can still have them as a nice treat as well. You can have it for breakfast. So it actually works really well as a pre-workout as well because it doesn't have a lot of fat. So it won't upset your stomach while you're working out. And it really goes well with peanut butter as well. So that's just a tip. But let me show you guys how I make it. Okay, so to start, I'm preheating the oven to 180 degrees Celsius, and then I'm gonna line the muffin tin with some non-stick spray, but you can also use muffin casings. And then moving on to ingredients, we've got some plain oats and then some overripe bananas. I do have a few extra just because it was my first time trying this recipe. And then I've got two large eggs, I've got honey, some low-fat milk and then vanilla essence baking powder baking soda or bicarbonate of soda and then i've got some cinnamon and some salt but yeah so we've got no sugar no white flour and no oil or butter so moving on to how i did everything so first i took one and a half cups of oats so we're going to turn this into oat flour by putting it into the Nutribullet you can also use a food processor for this really the idea is just to get it into a flour consistency okay and then I'm just adding two large bananas into this bowl and then we're going to mash it really really fine so make sure that there's no large chunks you want this to be a very fine mixture so keep mashing until everything is smooth okay and then I'm just going to add the two large eggs make sure that you don't get any shell in here and then I'm adding one third of a cup of honey and then I'm just going to add it into the mixture. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to add is three quarters of a cup of low fat milk. You can really use any milk for this. And then I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla essence. As you can see, I did run out, which sucks. But anyways, moving on. The next thing I'm going to do is just mix it all up just to make sure everything is well combined and smooth. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is add the flour, the oat flour to a bigger bowl. And then to that flour, I'm going to add another cup of plain oats, just as is. And then two teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, and then one teaspoon of cinnamon. And then the next thing we're going to do is just mix this up so that it's well combined and mixed together and then we're going to add the banana mixture right into that bowl and i really should have used the whisk here but for some reason i didn't but anyways so you want to mix this in so that there are no lumps um i kind of struggled a bit like i said i should have just used the whisk but anyway so make sure that there's no lumps the last thing you want is to bite into a clump of flour so the next thing you're going to do is just leave this mixture basically to sit for about 10 minutes so that the oats can get a bit softer and absorb the mixture you'll see that once it's been waiting for about 10 minutes it gets a lot thicker and then 
and it's pretty much ready to scoop into the muffin tin so I filled it up very much to the top um, you'll see at the end basically all of them are filled these muffins don't really rise much so you can fill them up to the top And then just the final touch is me adding some normal oats on top. So this will add a nice little crunch. You can also add cranberries, raisins, dark chocolate chips, whatever you like. And then they're pretty much ready to go into the oven for 20 to 23 minutes. So when you take them out, you'll just test if they're ready by gently pressing on the muffin and if it bounces back then they are ready and if it sinks in then it needs to bake for just a bit longer then i'm going to leave them just to rest a bit in the tin so that they can kind of pull away from the sides you don't want to take them out immediately but you don't want to leave them too long so that they get soggy so then i'm going to get a cooling rack and the next thing I'm gonna do to remove them from the tin without pulling them apart um, they are low fat so they might be a bit difficult but for me I didn't really struggle so I just use a knife I run it around the edge of the muffin just to kind of detach it a bit and then lift it out and it's pretty much good to go Okay, so this is pretty much the final product and I'm very, very happy with it. The muffins are perfect for breakfast. Again, they're not too dry. Um, I really like them. They're not too sweet either. So it's really perfect for breakfast. And like I said, I love it with peanut butter. You can also try it maybe with jam. You can heat it up. You can really do whatever suits you. But if you do decide to try this recipe, then please let me know how it goes. Thanks so much for watching guys, please remember to like, subscribe and share and I'll see you in my next video.